Hey, so I made a stupid when I did this in the proper recording. Uh, I forgot that you can't actually get this power up if you don't go to the egg carrier right away. So after beating Amy's story, I just kind of went back in and now I'm going to go back to where the hedgehog hammer was because we got to do it again. Yeah, make sure you do this, like, just as you get out of the egg carrier the first time, not, like, waiting until later on to get it. And watch as I splice this up after you're supposed to go back for it, because I'm stupid, okay? Anyway, since we uh, kind of did a stupid earlier, I don't... Oh. Okay. Okay, there we go. We've got it in the bag. So I think that's more than we had before. We just need to break our high score from before, by the way. We don't need to get much more than that. And with that, we get the long hammer. Here's the long hammer. Your attack radius is now increased. Try the spin hammer attack. Yeah, this one would actually have been useful for the boss, and I guess the rest of Amy's story too, but also I'm stupid, and honestly you don't really need it for the boss, as you'll see when I get to it. Also, it makes her hammer make a really loud thunk. Yeah. It also does this. I think it might get rid of that dizzying effect. Or not. Okay, I'm just dumb. Have I mentioned that I find Amy's story kind of forgettable? I think it's problem, as I said, uh either earlier or after this, depending on where I opt to splice this into the actual video. Um, its biggest problem is just, like, the fact that it's only three levels long, and none of the levels are designed for Amy. And I feel like you could do a little more with Amy as a character than this game really does with her mechanics. Maybe I'm just weird about that, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, back to past. So, um, I did have a look at the time bar on Audacity. 
which isn't entirely accurate to what I'm going to be doing here, because I had, a, like, a minute or two of fucking around trying to get things synced up beforehand. All that jazz. But it was at 40 minutes, so this might actually be free parts, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it to be somewhere around, like, two. Which I guess free is, but I was expecting it to be two. You go. Well, got one more level to go with Amy, and it's honestly probably the quickest we'll ever get through any of these levels, I'd imagine, anyway. Hmm, I don't remember this bridge. You've never been here, though. Look dangerously suspicious. Wanna go? Alright, well. Can't hurt to check it out. And, hey, this is the second time we've gone to Final Egg. That's about a... Alright, so we're gonna have to do the hardest puzzle in the world, once again. Yeah, weirdly enough, Final Egg was actually the level they chose to demo Amy with, at least on the GameCube version. <laughs> that face is great. Yeah, um, Amy's version of Final Leg is kind of a cakewalk, though. <laughs> like, the hammer jump just kind of breaks all of these. Don't get me wrong, it's fun to go through. Yeah, I said earlier that I hate Amy's gameplay in this game, but I don't know. Playing it again this time, I'm kind of warming up to it a little. I think the problem is just that it doesn't have enough time to settle in. And also it doesn't have, like none of the levels are really designed for her. Come on. Also zero is kind of just more of an annoyance than an absolute, a, a what? I can't talk. In obstacle. Well, this this one's actually a little longer than I remember being. Um, I don't think there is actually, like, a correct door that you'll get on, like, your first try, and you can't just, like, look into these to make sure you got the right one. I think, like, it's random which one's correct, or something like that. Because I know, I'm, like, one time I tried to look up which one was correct the first time, and I didn't actually get it that time, even though I followed the guy perfectly. So I think there's something up with this part of the level. Okay, there we go. And... Yeah, we can't go back. And that's something. I think this is the end of the level, though. And if I remember correctly, there's, like, some way you're supposed to do this by, like, getting under this or something. And I guess you can do that if you want. That does work. On the other hand, it's also slow and boring. So what I like to do is I like to try and, like, get a hammer jump up to there. 
And that is the last obstacle in this level. There was literally no reason for us to get into this level, by the way. It just was. I still really like this game, but it continues to be funny to me that this was intended as, like, a killer app for the Dreamcast. <laughs> Considering how fucking weird and low-budget a lot of it feels. Uh, as I said earlier, there's a charm to that weird jank of this game. It makes me like it anyway. Like, if you're just stumbling upon this video out of nowhere and have no idea who the hell I am, uh, something you might want to know about me is that I kind of have a thing for janky video games. Like, a lot of my time is just spent playing weird old bullshit nobody's ever heard of and probably shouldn't ever hear of. Just because I think janky, like, let's say PS2 era, maybe PS1 era games, uh, stuff like that has a charm The more polished stuff, even from the more janky games nowadays, can't really replicate. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Also, that's a bit of a misnomer right there. Uh, we're not actually supposed to go to Station Square. There is nothing there for us. Instead, we want to head down here onto this raft and head to the Egg Carrier. The first time we will ever have to do that in the game. I think we have to do it one more time for Gamma's story. And, uh... Uh, I think I forgot something. Yay, it's them. <laughs> Oops. I forgot that this cutscene auto-plays when you enter the egg carrier again. We're not going to have the second upgrade we won't need. This is like the second time I ended up for going an upgrade before we fight the final boss of one of these stories. Nice. But yeah, Zero's not a particularly difficult boss. You just kind of have to hit him a few times and ram him into the wall there. Jump over this attack when he tries to do it. Try to get close to him again. I think you can't actually hit him until he finishes that attack. That, like, stomping attack. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty certain. You definitely can't hit him while he's doing this. So that's probably the case. That being said, these two attacks are embarrassingly easy to dodge. And, yeah. Didn't even have to think. And he's just gonna explode with me right next to him, and I'm just gonna come out entirely unscathed. Please 
wake up birdie are you okay can you fly Faking this is like the most powerful cutscene in any video game as a kid. Keep in mind, I was like eight when I first played this game. One thing I hadn't yet experienced, the gut-wrenching, emotional climax to E-102 Gamma's story. One could almost call it Shakespearean. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I love the complete 180 from that last cutscene all the way to, I want to get my boyfriend to love me. <laughs> Like, it always gets me. God. How long have we been going on this one for? Yeah, 53 minutes, so uh, this is probably gonna be split up into three parts then. I guess I just fucked around a lot more than I was expecting to, because usually this story takes me only like about 30 minutes to finish. Well, it might just be because I usually skip cutscenes when I replay this game, but I. I don't know, I usually try to count that into, like, total estimates. <laughs> this song is stupid as hell, by the way. Like, I like it, but it's stupid. <laughs>
like how I thank the people who made the Dreamcast in here. <laughs> That's how you can tell this was first party production. I wonder if I was in the GameCube version too, actually. I don't usually read the credits of games, if you noticed. But like, I, don't know, I guess just sitting here trying to find stuff to talk about kind of gets me to start reading them. Helps that you have to read the credits, or watch the credits for this game, like, seven times over the course of a playthrough. 